Alright guys, uh, you know my last couple videos have been kind of vague, did them quickly, uh, been way busier at work than I usually am this time of year, usually I get a break uh, these last couple days with the extreme cold, I've actually had a couple days to try to get caught up, so I figured I'd do a bench update, my four truck month, and let you guys know what I have going on here. Uh, shop cards, Taylor's new card. Ron Racing and his new shop card so I'll get these updated and put on my wall over here uh, TC Wags and his awesome trucks and Charles over there Chopper's Rusty Customs so I think most of you guys know them if not go over and check them out uh, also, the Buckeye Show um, coming up March 9th. Uh, the Ohio Challenge this year was the 85 Olds. I never got around to mine. Last night I took and I cut the doors, trunk out. Um, Steve Courtney, if any of you guys follow him, go over and check him out. He's doing an awesome tutorial on the one that he's doing for the Ohio Show, or Buckeye Show down in Columbus um, so I'm gonna come up with a paint scheme and get started on that so um, I've got some things that I don't like on this truck uh, but I put a lot of work into it so I'm gonna revisit it and try to correct the things that I don't like so I'll pause this video here for a second get the camera turned around and show you guys what I got all right so here is my Ford truck month um, give you guys a quick spin around and then I'll go over what I like and what I don't like okay my turntable doesn't want to turn like I want it to so as you can tell I pointed out before this is in the Createx pearl blue uh, pearl white two-tone the stripes were actually just cut out of a plastic stencil which is where I ran it's my problem because my tape off lines weren't perfect um, because I used a stencil so I tried to go through and hand stripe all of these with a silver outline and for some reason I did it with the Molotol and the clear reacted with it and blurred all my lines so I tried to go back and do it with this chrome tape which you can see doesn't quite lay as flat so I'll probably just pull all these stripes in or this the chrome off and redo all these outlines around these stripes because I got way too much work and way too much time in this truck to to leave it go uh, motor wise I guess I'll start there just the kit motor nothing fancy a uh, little bit of detail work front push bar scratch built laser cut out the little pattern and just gave it a blue wash to make that stand out um, running boards I designed uh, 3d printed out the base of the running board and then the tops are actually the chrome from the Escalade kit. Um, all the suspension. Nothing fancy. Your typical uh, trailer hitch was scratch built. I gave it a set of truck nuts. Let me see if I can get that to focus in on, on the license plate. Maybe not. to put a still in for that then all right that's not gonna help me I don't know what this camera's been doing lately interiors just a uh, blue and white um, just a regular blue uh, something that went the floor is flocked 
uh, with the gray carpeting. Uh, I got actually a picture of the interior before I put it in the truck too. Um, I guess I don't know if I can get the camera to focus in there, but it does have the headliner in it, side panels. Uh, the windows were tinted with actual car window tint on the inside. That's the best way I've found to do windows to where you actually get something that's even. Um, I've tried all the sprays and I've just never had any luck with them. So, there it is, guys. Questions, comments are always welcome. But that was my Gordo's Family Garage build. So, so, Gordo, hopefully I made you happy. Uh, I did get packages sent out for anybody that was waiting on something from me. Um, I did get everything sent out, so hopefully you should have it. If not, didn't get it today, hopefully tomorrow. I still wanted to see that license plate. There we go. So, my Ohio plate. Alright, guys. I'm going to call it done, although it's not done because I'm going to go back and finish, fix those stripes as soon as I have a, an extra minute between builds. Oh yeah, and I did cut out the grill and make the bar grill out of styrene uh, and then just paint it actually with the uh, outclay to give it that polished aluminum look. So hopefully I covered most of it. Um, I'll try to get a couple stills in at the end. And see you guys soon.